All right, so we're getting back into here. We have, uh, where did we leave off last time? We last time we left off getting a three to one loss against the Boston Red Sox. Um, so we're in the middle of that series. And we have uh, a paltry two and five record at this point. However, one of our wins Where's my schedule? You can barely hear me. All right, hang on, I can fix that too. That should be better. Yep, okay. There we go. All right, cool. We're better now. Um, so last time we had uh, we had the 20 to 5 victory over the Dodgers. So and then unfortunately we lost one this one in the ninth. Um, so we could be three and four if we didn't lost that one in the ninth, and then we Tanner Houck shut us down. Anyways, we're gonna go play oh, you know what? And I was kind of thinking about this before. I think I'm gonna try mixing up the lineup here just a little bit. All right, enough, enough uh, fiddling with the lineup. Let's go play the, excuse me, let's go play the Red Sox. All right, so uh, we have Bailey Ober taking the mound today. They have Rich Hill taking the mound. Oddly enough, I think his overall rating is the same as his age. Oh, actually it's 42. I was close. Uh, so yeah, we got Buxton, Polanco, Correa, Urshela, Sano, Kirilov, uh, Luis Arias filling in at DH against the lefty today. Um, actually, so with, actually, if Arias is getting the, yeah, if Sanchez is getting the day off and Arias is going to be in here, um, splits versus lefties. Actually, I don't want Arias to do that against a righty next time, so actually we're not going to do this. I'm going to leave that in there like that. Uh, Arias will pay the next time we face a, uh. Uh, righty. And then, of course, oh, the Polanco jersey is still broken. I don't know why that happened. Um, and then, of course, against Bailey Ober, Boston is going with Trevor Story, Alex Verdugo, Rafael Devers, J.D. Martinez, Sander Bogarts, Kike Hernandez, Bobby Dahlbeck, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Christian Vasquez. So it's a lineup that, at least according to the ratings here, Definitely favors me, but that was not the case the first game of this series. Um, so let's try this out, though. This time we are facing Rich Hill, and who is off to a terrible start this year, and not uh, Tanner Houck, who has pitched really well. All right, so here we are, Byron Buxton. Uh, facing Rich Hill, leading things off. Here we go. That's a ground ball over to the shortstop, and that's an easy out for Bogarts at first. And now to Raphael Devers. That's a bloop down the line. That is f foul? Apparently that didn't display very well because that was, it landed in foul territory on the screen, but according to the play-by-play, -play, it was not foul. Um, all right, well, that brings up J.D. Martinez now with runners on first and second and only one out. We really need to find a double play. That is probably not going to be the double play. We can ground ball pick, uh, over to Urshela, picked up and over to first for the out. Over with his second walk. Now the bases are loaded. And here's Kike Hernandez. And that is a shot in the left. Oh, drops in front of Kirilov for a two-run base hit for Kike Hernandez. Bobby Dahlbeck now at the plate. Swing. Nope. Check to swing. Ball four. Come on, Bailey. Let's get out of this inning. Bases are loaded again. There's a swing and a miss for strike number three. Now. 
uh, Trevor Story did advance to third on the play. There is a shot down the right field line. That is going to be extra bases for Rafael Devers. Uh, heading all the way over to third and going to make it is Rafael Devers. With a triple down the right field line, it is now 4 to nothing Red Sox. Nope, that's the wrong. That's not my bullpen. This is my bullpen. Um, all right, let's get Cotton warmed up here. And I guess maybe Pagan as well. Okay, the over is going to get the strikeout there of J.D. Martinez. And now Xander Bogart's at the plate. And he is going to hit a shot to left, but Kirilov makes a diving catch. And we're out of the fourth inning with limited damage done. Goodness sakes. I would like to get a run on the board. That is not going to be it. Sano slides into second base with a double on the shot deep into center field. Now Alex Kirloff at the plate. Swinging away. Fly ball short and left. And down he goes. Um, that's the end of Rich Hill. It's uh, Hirokazu Sawamura. Wow. Hard throwing right hander here to face Gary Sanchez. Well, you know what? I have something for that. Luis Araya is now at the plate, uh, hitting for Gary Sanchez with the right-hander coming in. And that is slapped back up the middle. That is going to be a base hit. Sano is around third, coming home, and he's going to be safe. That's why we pinch hit for him. Luis Arias with the RBI single after starting off down 0-2. So now the bases are loaded with one out. It's Max Kepler at the plate. Swing and a miss. Ryan Jeffers now. There's a ground ball over to third, up and over to first for Devers, and there we go. Bases loaded with one out, and we come away with nothing. Dropping our record to two and six. We are not off to a good start. Uh, Rich Hill went five and two thirds with six hits, one run, two walks, five strikeouts. And Sauer Diekman, Strom, and Whitlock close things out for Boston. Bailey Ober uh, lasted just four innings with the five hits, four runs, three from earned five walks, unfortunately, to go at 17 Ks. He's got 17 strikeouts in 10 and a third innings so far this season. Um, apparently Ober has got some strikeout stuff, but Cotton and Pagan were both selling out of the bullpen. Uh, we just we fell behind early, and then despite having some opportunities, couldn't get anything done. Um, late in the innings. So yeah, we had the, we did have 10 hits. Miguel Sano was 3-for-3 three three with a walk. Uh, Correa was 2-for-4 with a walk. Buxton, unfortunately, was 0-for-5 and struck out three times. Kepler was 1-for-4 but did have two strikeouts. Jeffers, uh, yeah, he had the out with the um, bases loaded. So that finishes game number eight for the year. Let's finish today. Uh, nothing happened news-wise. All right, let's get straight into our uh, third game here of this series. Again, so we're back to our, sort of back to our regular scheduled programming here. Uh, Buxton, Polanco, Correa, Kepler, Urshela, Arias starting out on the left. Um, for Kirilov, Miranda starting at first base for Miguel Sano, and then Sanchez at DH and Jeffers catching. 
Uh, looks like the same. Yep, same lineup there. Trevor Story, Alex Verdugo, Rafael Devers, J.D. Martinez, Xander Bogarts, Kike Hernandez, Bobby Dahlbeck, Jackie Bradley Jr., and Christian Vasquez. Against uh, Facing off against Dylan Bundy. Uh, Boston has Nick Pavetta on the mound today, who was great in his opening start of the season. Dylan Bundy, not so much. So he'll be looking to turn things around here as we start game number three of our series against Boston. Byron Buxton leading off against Nick Pavetta. Full count. Down he goes on strikes. Jorge Polanco. He hits one into right field, but in to make the play is Alex Verdugo. Carlos Correa now. Ooh, excuse me. Weak ground ball over to Devers. Gets it over to first base in time. Yes. Polanco with a chance. He's going to hit a line drive in the left. This one will not be caught. It also gets by Hernandez all the way to the wall. Into second is Polanco. Scoring is Sanchez. And Jeffers holds up at third. Uh, Carlos Correa. Swing and a miss. But we did take the lead on a uh, bit of an error there. From, well, two errors really that inning. Sanchez got on via the error and then scored via the error. So top of the seventh. Jeffers now, oh, I'm sorry, that was Gary Sanchez. Jeffers at the plate now. He's going to draw a walk. All of a sudden, it's first and second for Byron Buxton with nobody out. And he hits one hard in the center field over the wall of, over the wall, over the head of Bradley, up and off the wall. Into second is Buxton. Scoring is Sanchez. Jeffers holds up at third. We've added to our lead now. It's three to nothing here in the top of the seventh. Still nobody out. And Jorge Polanco at the plate. He's going to draw the walk to load the bases here for Carlos Correa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Carlos Correa is going to draw a walk, so he's going to get the RBI there as Jeffers scores. Max Kepler now facing Matt Strom. Skies one into left. It's going to be caught up against the wall. Uh... Buxton is going to score on the tag, and Polanco is going to move over to third. Some nice base running there from Polanco and Buxton. And as Gio Urshela in the center field, up against the wall, that is going to score at least one. Yep, just one. Uh, Urshela's got an RBI double, and Correa holds up a third there, and there's still only one out now as Luis Arias is going to face... Matt Strom, and he's going to strike out. Um, Jose Miranda now getting the chance to face Strom. Ground ball picked up by Bogarts over to first, and down we go. However, we added four runs, and but didn't make a throw there. That was kind of weird. Uh, Buxton, he's going to send one down the line. That is going to drop in for a base hit. Getting all the way over to third is Ryan Jeffress. Real solid base running there. There we go. Ball's in the dirt. Buxton safe at second with the stolen base. Did I just steal second base in the top of the eighth inning? Up 6 nothing. Yes, I did. Drawing the walk there is Polanco. Now it's Carlos Correa. One out. Base is loaded. And that... Get out of town... It's Carlos Correa, Grand Slam. It's now 10 to nothing. Whew. Max Kepler now facing Cutter Crawford. That's a swing and a miss. Down he goes. Two outs here in the top of the eighth. Ball four to uh, Gio Urshela. Now it's Luisa Reyes. And he puts a charge into one. That's going to hit the wall. Oh, it's going to short hop to the wall. Getting all the way into th oh, 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 no throw. Kepler into score, or Shella into score, rather. And that's it for Cutter Crawford. It's now Hansel Robles. It's 11 to nothing. We've scored nine runs in the last two innings. Wow.
That one's in the left field for a base hit. Scoring is uh, Mar uh, Arias. It's Miranda with an RBI single. Gary Sanchez. Fly ball into right, and we're through the inning. Um, Duran actually seems to be doing pretty what pretty good here, energy wise. So we're gonna sit down, Duffy. We're gonna let Duran keep working, uh, but we're gonna warm up probably Joe Smith. And we've got a resounding thirteen to zero victory today. Uh, as we got into the Boston bullpen and they just completely fell apart. Buxton was 3 for 5 with the RBI. Polanco was 1 for 2 with 2 walks and an RBI. Carlos Correa was 2 for 5 with the Grand Slam and another RBI single. Um, Urshela was 2 for 5. Arias was 2 for 5 with 2 RBIs. Sanchez was 2 for 5 and scored twice. Jeffers was over 2, but he had 3 walks and he scored 3 runs. <laughs> As I scored 13 runs on 13 hits and 9 walks. Wow, and Buxton and Gordon got some stolen bases today. Uh, Nick Pavetta. Nick Pavetta pitched really well. Five and two thirds, five hits, two runs, one of them earned a walk and six strikeouts. Brazier lost it. Uh, Strom gave up a couple hits and a run. Crawford gave up the grand slam, I think. Robles gave up, uh, had three walks and then gave up a run before Hernandez was able to finally shut things down in the uh, ninth inning. And then Bundy, five and a third, four hits, no runs, four walks, and seven strikeouts. Uh, but with that, we got to take a short break, and I'll be right back. Uh, new team. We're going up now. We're starting a three-game series against Kansas City. In Kansas City, uh, we're back to our standard right-handed lineup here. We've got Buxton leading off, Polanco, Correa, Karoloff, Urshela, Kepler, Sano, Sanchez, and Jeffers. With Sonny Gray taking the mound. Uh, facing off against Nick Lopez, Andrew Benintendi, Bobby Witt Jr., Salvador Perez, Carlos Santana, Hunter Dozier, uh, Alberto Mondesi, Edward Oliveras, and Michael Taylor. Uh, what's Bobby Witt look like? He looks absolutely outstanding. The plate discipline obviously is a little bit of a concern there, but you can see the contact and the home run power are... Great. Um, defense is best at third base. Is that where he's playing? That's where he's playing, right? Yeah. That's why Hunter Dozier moved from third over to first. Is because of Bobby Witt. Um, I wish I knew what was causing Jorge Polanco to be wearing a lime green jersey. All right, we're all set here. Let's go start our game. Brady Singer facing off against Byron Buxton, and here we go. Down he goes on strikes. That was my concern with putting him in the leadoff spot is that he strikes out too much. Well, down we go two for two on strikes. Carlos Correa with a chance to turn things around. And he does with a pop-up in a short left field that's caught by Andrew Benintendi. All right, so now Thielbar is going to come in here trying to get a save. Caleb Thielbar in to face uh, Alberto Mondesi, Edward Oliveras, and Michael Taylor. And then uh, if we get that far, Nick Lopez and Benintendi at the top of the lineup. That's a ground ball picked up by Sano. Steps on first for the out. Edward Oliveras now facing Thielbar. That's a... Solo home run for Edward Oliveras, and now the game is tied at four. This bullpen, man, is going to be the end of me. Base hit past Correa for Michael Taylor. Oh, we got him. I pitched out, and we got him. 
3-1 pitch to Nick Lopez is lifted deep to center field. Buxton's back. He's going to make the routine catch. All right, so Gary Sanchez is going to start as the runner on uh, second base, and it's Scott Barlow in to face Byron Buxton. Uh, I mean... Well, yeah, I, I mean, I can't pinch run for him. It's my catcher. So I gotta let Sanchez run here, unfortunately. I'd love to put in Nicky Lopez right now. Uh, we are gonna bunt, though, because Buxton's a pretty solid bunter, and he's got a ton of speed. Squares the bunt and missed it. Uh, oh, I'm trying again. There we go. Gets that bunt down. Over to third goes Sanchez. All right, Jorge Polanco now facing Barlow. Oh. The whole point of this was for you to put the ball in play, Polanco. All you had to do was put it in play. Carlos Correa now. Oh, my gosh. These guys are killing me. And, of course, I'm an idiot and I didn't warm anybody up. Field bar, you got to keep pitching here. Whip Merrifield pinch hitting for Ben Attendee. Strikes out. Guy's hitting 417 or so far in the season. Bobby Witt getting to face a lefty. Oh. Pass ball is going to advance the runner. Now Bobby Witt, all he, all he has to do is put the ball in play. He draws a walk instead. Um, so, Field bar, you're done. Archer is a 60, 45, 45. Yeah, I mean, Pagan gives up slightly more home runs than Archer, but the control is way better. And the stuff is also way better. So I definitely think we got to bring in Pagan here for Theobar to face Salvador Perez, Santana, and Dozier. All right. First and third. Uh, one out. We need a double play. Because that's the only way that we keep things going here. Well, a double play or a strikeout. Down he goes on strikes. Emilio Pagan comes in and strikes out Salvador Perez. Here we go. Now Carlos Santana. Strike three called on the outside corner. Oh, my goodness. What a call. What a call that was. Uh, thank you, Mr. Umpire, sir, for calling this slider a strike. Apparently Gary Sanchez can frame pitches. Because that's like Angel Hernandez level stuff right there. Goodness sakes. Is, it, is Angel Hernandez upping this game? No, they don't have they don't have named umpires in here. <laughs> uh, it sure feels like Angel Hernandez is umping this one, though, after that call. All right, so Carlos Correa is starting on second base here, and we've got Alex Kirilov at the plate. Um, boy, do I... Do I bunt again and then hope that Urshela or Kepler, well, it would have to be Urshela. Urshela can put the ball in play, or do I just like, I gotta just let Kirilov hit, right? I mean, he's a decent enough bunter, but he's also a really good hitter, and he's in a lefty righty matchup. I gotta let him hit. So much for that brilliant idea. Now there's one out. Urshela lifts one into center, or left, rather. That is going to be caught. Correa with the aggressive base running is going to advance on that one. It was not that deep. Now it's Max Kepler. Picked up by the pitcher over to first in time. And down we go. I guess maybe I should have bunted. Um, let's get Chris Archer warmed back up here. Okay, Chris Archer is still ready to go. Uh, Santana started the inning on second, plate, second base. It's Hunter Dozier at the plate. a wild pitch by Pagan and that is probably going to be the ball game yep there it is ball game oh oh 
He didn't go. Hope springs eternal. Bunting is Mondesi, and out is Sanchez. Oh my goodness. Or I'm tagged out, rather, is Santana by Sanchez. I don't... <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> uh-huh. Mondesi... Oh, he tried to... Oh, he tried to... He went to bunt. Didn't make contact. But Santana was running. Okay. Okay, now... <laughs> Now I'm on board. I was like, wait, he bunted it? No, he didn't bunt it. He tried to bunt and missed. And so it essentially turned into a steal home attempt. And there's a ground ball to second base. What an inning that was. <laughs> the wild pitch that put Santana on third. The fly ball that apparently wasn't deep enough. Uh, Kepler's got a strong arm. I mean, he probably would have been thrown out. But then he tried, Montessi tries to bunt. Misses, but Santana is running and is tagged out at home by Sanchez. And then Montesi grounded out. All right, so um, we've got Sano, Sanchez, and then Pagan. All right, so we got to make sure. So Archer should be ready, right? Yeah, he's going to be ready. Um, Yeah, we're going to have Nick Gordon run for Kepler. He's going to start learning to play right field if it comes to it. We're going to have Nick Gordon run for Kepler, and we're going to have Arias ready to pinch hit for Pagan. We're ending this game this inning. All right, so here's Nick Gordon. Uh, it's Dylan Coleman pitching to Miguel Sano. Miguel Sano gets a hold of one. Oh. <laughs> I I I thought that was gone. <laughs> Caught at the wall by Michael Taylor. Gordon is going to advance the third. So now Gary Sanchez facing Dylan Coleman with Nick Gordon standing on third base. And that's a fly ball into left. Should be deep enough. Gordon coming home. The throw is in time. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a game. Swing and a miss. Pagan is dealing, though. Swing and a miss. That's the bottom of the 12th. All right, good. I'm glad Pagan got through that inning because then we did not sacrifice uh, Chris Archer. So now it's going to be Luis Arias coming in to pinch hit for Emilio Pagan. Gary Sanchez is over there standing on second base. I mean, I guess I could have had Chris Archer try and bunt if I ended up putting him into that inning, but I'm going to let Arias hit. That's going to be a fly ball into left, not that deep. Olivares has got a strong arm out there. It's Buxton at the plate now. He hits a ground ball to the third baseman over to first in time for the out. Now it's Jorge Polanco. That's a pass ball, but not enough for Sanchez to advance. Fly ball into center. Looks playable for Taylor. 
And it is. We're going to 13. Uh, Chris Archer coming into the game here for Pagan. All right, uh, bottom of the 13th, Nick Lopez starting on second base. And Chris Archer pitching to Whit Merrifield. Ground ball picked up by the first baseman. Steps on first for the out. Taking third is Nick Lopez. Now fizz, pitching to Bobby Witt uh, is Chris Archer. Walks him. First and third. Now pitching to Salvador Perez. That's a pop-up on the infield. And there's two outs. So there goes your sacrifice fly. Uh, to Carlos Santana. Oh, uh, there's the ball game. Carlos Santana is going to get a base hit. In the bottom of the 13th, Nick Lopez is going to score. And down we go. Five to four on a 13th inning RBI single. Ugh. Hit Duffy and Theobar, man. Pagan was great. Two and two thirds, four strikeouts. Just was out of gas. Yeah, that Gunga, that one hurts a lot, man. That one hurts a lot. From the th giving up the three runs there in the seventh, eighth, and ninth inning, and then not being able to convert in the tenth, eleventh, twelfth. I haven't had four opportunities to convert with a runner on second base, um, and we didn't do it. And finally, in the bottom of the thirteenth, it was it was all we had. Um, all right. I think that's going to do it for me. Because I'm getting pretty tired. And I'm also getting a little bit frustrated. Um, thanks for watching, though. Uh, had some new followers tonight. New raid. Um, Middle-aged gamer came by with a raid, which is awesome. Very much appreciated. Uh, we're going to have to figure out something here next stream but right now we're going to leave this where it is we're just three and nine uh really struggling trying to decide what to do obviously the bullpen's been bad um the lineup has had some flashes of brilliance obviously with the 13 runs against boston and the 20 runs against um los angeles and we had some tough one run losses here against boston and against kansas city uh, and if you go further back in our schedule, we also had a tough one-run loss to um, to Los Angeles. Uh, so, it's definitely been a struggle here with the bullpen in the one-run games. Uh, but we're going to leave things here for the night. We are going to find somebody to raid, so hang out here for just a minute. But uh, be sure to check me out on uh, Twitter and YouTube as well. Um, Twitter's got channel updates. Uh, amongst other things that you know people do on Twitter and uh, YouTube of course will have highlights from the streams if there's anything that you missed and wanted to go back and watch um, there should be highlights up there so thank you for watching and uh, have a good night hang out here for just a minute while we go look for somebody to raid